Yo, brawlers, this is your man, Glass Chin, and you're watching Glass Chin's Boxing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, brawlers, we all got the news we have all been waiting for. Liz Truss has resigned as the Prime Minister. Good fucking riddance to the old bag. Anyway, in other news, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, has finally announced his opponent for the 3rd of December fight at Tottenham Stadium. The worst kept secret in boxing, Fury will be fighting Derek Chisora for a third time. Soon we will get Joshua vs Ariola and White vs Franklin announced, two other very poorly kept secrets. I made a video this morning about if Tyson Fury is the superstar that they keep saying he is. Moving the fight to London was a clear sign that they were tapping into Derek Chisora's huge home fan base. I also suggested this fight wouldn't sell well without a strong co-main event and that they should put Devar vs Lorena on the card if they want to sell out. Well, surprise, surprise, a couple of hours later the fight was announced and Bish Bash Bosh, Daniel Debar vs Lorena is the co-main event for the WBA regular world title. Two heavyweight world title fights on the same card featuring three British heavyweights. It's the stuff of dreams, brawlers. But there is a big, big but. I'm really not excited to see Fury vs. Chisora again. I hate to say it. Chisora's fought Usyk, Parker twice and Pulev back to back. And he's given a good account of himself in every single one of them fights. He's had a real Indian summer to his career with his wins over Takam, Spilka, Pulev, David Price. And personally, I thought that he was robbed in the first Dillian White fight and in the first Joseph Parker fights. So I thought he won both of them. There's not a single other heavyweight in the top 25 that I wouldn't pay to see Chisora fight live if I could bag or blag a ticket. Fury, though, we've just been there and done it. The build-up to their rematch in their WBO final eliminator and their European title fight was great. I was ringside for that fight and Fury was great. He boxed to a game plan and won every minute of every round. He boxed Chisora's head off and he made him quit on his stool. We just don't need to be going over old ground. Correct me if I'm wrong, but after the second Parker fight, I'm sure that Frank Warren was one of the people calling for Derek Chisora to retire. I mean, he's just had his career best win over Pulev, and I wish him all the best. It's great to see him get one more roll of the dice, but I just don't think this fight will be competitive. I know it's labelled as a tune-up and as a stay-busy fight for Fury while he waits for Usyk next year, but there are more interesting fights available. Andy Ruiz Jr. said he would take the fight. Aslanbek Makhmadov is a top-ranked fighter and he said he wants to fight. The 18-0 Southpaw Zane Kosobutsky would be a great warm-up fight for Usyk, but he's just signed to fight the undefeated Hassan Mohamed 17-0 next month. He would have been more than ready for the December fight date. Otto Wallin would have jumped at the chance to get the rematch. He's been calling for it for years. It's sad to say, but the build-up to Fury vs. Chizora 3 will probably be better than the fight itself. I might get a cheeky ticket to the open workout or to one of the press conferences to see how many times John Fury tries to have a stand-up with anyone and everyone and see if Chisora throws a few tables about. But jokes aside, this is poor and I'm actually more excited to see Daniel Debar versus Kevin Lorena. Lorena is growing on me. I expect Debar to win this fight, but I think Lorena will make a fight of it. There's obviously question marks over Debar for me still. Good fight, but I'm not excited enough to buy a ticket. Though I'll be more than happy watching that one at home on pay-per-view. Hopefully a few more names are added to the undercard. Fury couldn't help to rub Joshua's face in it, claiming he won a 10 round bet from Frank Warren, after betting Warren that Joshua wouldn't sign the contract. Hopefully there isn't too much more of this pantomime shit in the build-up, and that Joshua's name can stay off of the tongues of Fury's camps for more than 5 minutes. Fury is turning off a lot of the fans, and we may see Chisora get a better reception from the crowd on their fight night when they do their ring walks. I wouldn't be surprised if Fury comes out and enters to a few boos. What are your thoughts on this fight, brawlers? Has Fury taken the easy road against a man that he's already beaten twice? Will you buy tickets to this one? Will you pay for the pay-per-view? Or will you watch it on a moody stream? Let me know your thoughts, brawlers. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.